Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm just going to be sharing with you the 10 various shades, colours and wigs I've had in the last month and a half. This is only the beginning of the year and I've got so much more to share with you. Really looking forward to that but thank you to Sue's Muse if you are watching because I was completely unaware that if you watch any of my videos on a TV possibly laptop, you can't really hear me. So what I've done is I've invested in a microphone and you should now be able to hear me on your phone, your laptop and your TV. So let me know in the comments down below. Moving on into this video, I cannot do anything at the moment. My hair is like this. It's just in its natural habitat of curls, I can't do anything because of this hand here. So I've had a problem with my hand since December and it's got worse, it feels so bad. It has traveled all the way up my shoulder blade, my arm, my neck to the bottom of my skull. So I can't do anything at the moment. We are waiting for blood tests and x-rays, but that is not why we're here. We are here to see various different hair colors and some wigs over the last month and a half. So if you want to see them, keep on watching. I started the year with jet black dyed hair and I used a blonde it up to try and remove it and it just did the roots and left me like this. So this was the beginning of January. Then I decided to use a Garnier 8 Shift, I think it was 8 shades lighter and I put that all over and I ended up with this coppery colour which obviously I did not want this, it was patchy. So I got the B Blonde 30 volume and a box of the bleach powder and I started to bleach all over my entire head. This is a packet I got from Poundland, I think it was £1.50. So you get your brushes and your bowl and I mixed that bleach together and I ended up like this. I have naturally frizzy curly hair so it's always going to be big. It was a bit patchy but I was like I'm going to work with this as long as I can get the colour I had in mind, which was to get the Knight and Wilson Colour Freedom Magenta Pink, which I wanted to put all over the front and then have a different shade going around the back. This went on so easy, so well, and it took the colour really, really quickly. Tin foiled it and left that for a little bit and I prepped the purple. Now I love this purple. So this was to go all over the rest of my hair. So all by myself, abandoning my washing, kids playing on the computer, I decided to sit on my bedroom floor and just rub this all into my hair. This footage never got put onto my channel so this is the first time I've shared this but the process was time consuming but it was so so worth it the outcome of this hair color was beautiful this is the next day look at the shine look at those shades and not washing it for a little while because I just, yeah, I was scared to lose the color, but I didn't. I decided to use this Joe Baz hair color remover and strip it all out about three weeks later. And mixing the product together absolutely stunk. I thought I was gonna end up a nice peachy color, but instead, to my absolute shock, I turned out a blue. I was really, really surprised. I've been this blue before, but I, loved it unfortunately it wasn't as blue as I wanted it to be once I washed it I had a little bit of purple still up front we had an aqua color going on at the ends there was quite a pale bit at the front but the blue was gorgeous and I love this color then we moved on to the wigs this is a wig that I got off Amazon I'll link all of these down below this is beautiful I just love the shade it's so much fun various styles you can do with it 
and voila there is my blue untouched still so what i decided to do was get the crazy color blue uh, i think it's capri blue and i put that all over my hair and ended up this absolutely stunning shade look at that and then i got some more wigs this one didn't go down too well although i really like it i like it for fun this one is great and i will be playing around with it i will be making it look a bit better i might even take some of the hair out but it's just so much fun it's so bouncy and soft and lovely and it was only 12 pounds 99 I also have the blonde one, which is a lot thinner, but it's very shiny. So this one's going to have a makeover very soon. So stay tuned for that. And this one was $11.99 in Amazon as well. All these wigs I will link down below and my hair colors that I've used on my own hair. They will be linked also if you are interested. But my favorite one, this one is not my favorite of all wigs, but this one is one of them. It is gorgeous. It's a beautiful ash color. It's my natural color. And it's just stunning. So many variations you can do with this wig. This is Hair Cube, and Hair Cube is one of my absolute favorite wig brands. Then, putting back my blue hair, I want to share this one. This is my favorite of all this year is this little beauty and for those who have asked i want to share this with you i do wear my wigs out this one i wore this out and everyone was saying to me oh my goodness you look so much younger so i love this wig even more than i loved it before because if i look younger then i'm wearing it it's beautiful it's long it's lightweight it doesn't have any shine it looks realistic and i cannot wait to get some more colors in this wig because it is stunning it is a lace front from amazon at 44.99 we'll link it down below there is various other colors and styles in this as well they are sapphire wigs so this is all the colors and wigs i've had so far up to february and i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching